Hi guys, Alec Pierce at the ranch again. Ah, uh, not keep forgetting, I'm not at the ranch. Once again, if you watched my uh, my most recent at the ranch video uh, about the tradition of hunting, you know that I'm in South Africa. I'm just outside Kruger National Park. Fantastic, by the way. We're at Kruger National Park for four days. We saw everything. It was incredible. Uh, the big five. We saw the big five animals. If you don't know what the big five is, Google it. The big five animals. The dangerous animals, that's why they're called the big five. We saw them all up close. I mean, we had a, a leopard walking. We could have reached down and stroked its fur if it wasn't a wild animal and might not have enjoyed that so much. Buffalo, anyway, anyway, it was just a fantastic experience. All the beautiful birds and the plant life and the antelope and so on. It was just wonderful. So here I am at the ranch <laughs> in South Africa. This actually is a very big ranch. They don't fool around out here. Well, they have a ranch out here, uh, uh, you know, that 30 million hectares. A hectare is uh, 15 acres. Uh, do the math. Yeah, this is a big ranch. And they have a lot of animals here, and we, we've really enjoyed ourselves. But we are here, this particular ranch, for hunting. Because hunting is part of my family's tradition. My last video, we talked about the hunting tradition. And if, if you listen to that, you'll get some idea of why hunting is so special to myself and my family and our ancestors and many of our friends as well. And I know a lot of you viewers out there are hunters as well. And it's, it's a wonderful community, as you know. Today, on this particular video, I thought I would talk about guns at the ranch. Uh, you know, you need to have guns to hunt. Uh, but, uh, but most people who live in the country have, a lot of people in the city have guns too, but most people who live in the country have guns. There's usually a different, a different need or different purpose for the gun. So let's deal with that first. Why do you need guns? Why do you need guns, particularly at the ranch? This is what this series is about. Well, you need guns at the ranch. Some people say for protection. Ah, maybe you do. And in some parts of the country, depending on where you live, you might need guns for protection. That's not a big issue in Canada. We do not have guns in Canada for protection. We have other means to protect ourselves if we need protection. We're very, very fortunate in Canada. Crime is extremely low. And, uh, and as assaults and murders and that kind of stuff, almost non-existent. So we're very fortunate that way. However, that may be a concern for you. Uh, the other reasons to have guns? Food. Absolutely. My dear wife, Diana, you've heard me talk about her and my, 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 my family, my children, and soon my grandchildren hunt. And when we hunt for fun uh, we, and we take an animal, we eat the entire animal. As I jokingly say, it's not a joke. We eat everything except the hair and the toenails. And it's quite true. We have a freezer. In fact, Diana and I just had to buy a bigger freezer because we have a lot of game. And that's what we, we call uh, animals that you have taken for food in the freezer. It was getting over full. Turkeys, geese, duck, grouse, pheasants, deer, moose, bear. Yes, bear meat is fantastic and so on. So all that meat, and we package it, I butcher it myself, we package it carefully, and over many years, uh, we eat it. So we eat those animals. It's great food. It's very, very good for you. If you're into a health food, you can't beat game food. Check it out. Go to Google. Is game food good for your health? Huh. And you'll find out. So protection and food. And there's a third reason why you might want guns at the ranch, why you would want guns at a ranch, and that's for fun. Like it or not, if you're, if you're not into guns, you may say, well, what's he talking about? But guns are fun. And there's proof of that. I often have friends come to the ranch to visit us, and they are not into hunting and into guns. And that's fine. That's fine. And sometimes I'll say, would you like to go outside and, and, and shoot something? Would you shoot a, shoot a target? Well, okay. And I take them outside, and in a matter of 10 minutes, they're having the time of their lives. It is simply fun sometimes to shoot targets, and, and it's fun to hunt as well. So there are several reasons why you might want guns at the ranch. What I wanted to deal with actually is what guns do you need? Just very briefly. Now you guys are the gun experts and hunters and you have ranches and so on. You may not want to listen to this because it may not apply to you, but you may as well. There are several guns that you want to have at a ranch. One is a small caliber. We call it a 22. Now that, call it a 22, that's like calling facial tissues Kleenex. It may not be a 22. It could be a 17 or several other of those very small bore uh, uh, cartridges, guns. But a 22, the Rimfire 22, has been around for a million years. Not that long. A long time, however. And it's a lot of fun. That's what most kids, myself included, learn how to shoot first. And it can be used for game as well. You know, it's great practice for game. But it's fun just for target practice. So a 22 is almost absolutely essential. You probably want to have a shotgun. Yeah, probably a 12-gauge shotgun because it does everything. With a shotgun, you can hunt large animals, bear and deer and 
I suppose even moose as well, but the shotgun is what you need for birds. So if you, if you like to hunt uh, ducks or geese or, or even the field game, then you need to have a shotgun. So a 22 and a shotgun, and then probably you want to have one more gun, a uh, high caliber, what's called a high caliber rifle of some sort. Anything from a, from a, a 243, relatively light, a 270, which is a real good down the middle cal caliber, take most big game in North America quite adequately at long distance, safely, light recoil, so-so report, and so on, uh, up to a 30 out 6 and maybe a 300 if you're in the West and you shoot long distances. Anything beyond that is getting the overkill, the 338 Magna. I have one of those. I use that for big bear, moose, bigger animals. But usually something around that 270, 30 out 6 is a perfect size. So a 22, the 12 gauge shotgun, and, uh, and, a, and something around a 30 out 6 high power rifle. That's really what you would want to have as your stock gun on the ranch. You can take care of anything that you want to do. Protection, absolutely, if you need it for that. Food, with a 22, a shotgun, and a high caliber rifle. You can take anything pretty much on the North American continent and put it into your freezer and enjoy it for years, and for fun as well. It's fun shooting a, a clay with a, with a shotgun, 22, great for small targets, and so on. So those three guns, those three types are sort of your bottom line, your base for what you would want to have at the ranch. And that's what we have, what we tend to use. And there's some ideas. If you're just getting into hunting or interested in guns, or if you have a ranch and you've started to think about maybe getting a gun, you might need one. Hopefully this information will be of some value to you. I got some more information on hunting and guns at the ranch, at the ranch in South Africa, coming up. So please stay tuned to the channel. And thanks very much for watching. Talk to you again soon. Alec Pierce at the ranch in South Africa.